Welcome to Monkey Science and Professor TJ and her assistant Nelly Welly. And today we're going to do a fun experiment. Whoa! But before we start, let me tell you something about this experiment. Surface tension is an effect where the surface of a liquid is strong. Some insects can run on the surface of the water because of this. This quality is caused by the particles in the liquid being attracted to each other. And this is how many liquids behave. These are the materials we would require. A large bowl or basin, liquid soap, index cards, scissors, a dropper, and water. And remember kids, always have an adult present when you're doing this experiment. Safety first! All the time. So now you're ready. Are you ready to start? Yes. So I want, we'll take this water and pour it into our basin. So watch. And you emptied all the water into the basin. Then, you see this index card? Yes. We're going to cut it in the shape of a boat. Wow. We're going to cut it in the shape of a boat. So, I'll take my scissors. So, you see we've cut it into the shape of the bottom of a boat. Yes. You see how it looks? Yes. You see? Yes. Okay. So, what you're going to do now, you're going to take this boat, and then you're going to place it into the water. Thank you. So place it into the water on this edge, on the edge, no facing, yes, like that. So place it on the edge and then just leave it there. Then here's a dropper and then take some soap and place it right at the square over there. Yeah. Right in the square in the middle over there. Okay. No, pour it like this. Can you see? Yes. Did the boat move? Yes. No. When your boat is sitting on top of the water, the surface tension of the water holds the boat on the surface and is the same on all sides, so your boat doesn't move. The liquid soap has a lower surface tension. When you touch the cutout of your boat with the liquid soap, the surface tension pulling on the boat is less than the water pulling forward. It is this difference in surface tension that makes your boat surge forward. You'll have to change the water pretty regularly to keep sailing. Once the liquid soap and water are all mixed together, the surface tension will again be the same on both sides and the boat won't move. I hope you at home were able to make your own soap powered boat. This is all we have for you today. See you next time on Funky Science. Bye!